Ten Point Coalition's thumbprint getting a little bigger. That's because the group is expanding to four cities in the state and two cities even outside of Indiana. 24 Hour News Eight's Julian Grace joins us now live in studio to talk about the expansion, Julian. Yeah, you know, some say it was only a matter of time before this would happen. And those peacekeepers, well, they're keeping the peace and they have a track record of decreasing violence in neighborhoods. So what happens next? Other cities are seeing violence of their own and they started calling Ten Point for help. We've been with them in town and out of town. And keep it. We've seen and heard how they decrease crime in some areas of our city. Thank you so much for coming. And today we found out we are not the only ones who know about this feat. Evansville, Indiana, and Cleveland, Ohio. These cities you're hearing. Louisville, Kentucky. All want the 10 points help. You know, we're getting a lot of uh, invitations from cities around the Midwest. All in all, six cities want some form of 10 point in their city. Well, we are excited about the efforts of 10 point working in collaboration with police and other community groups. And we believe that this is a strategy that helps reduce uh, youth urban gun violence. The goal is to make this happen. By the end of 2017, 10 point could be in all six cities. And that's not all. The attorney general's office is pushing it through the state. We have an opportunity through the position through the attorney general's office to be kind of a bully pulpit to help rally people together, to help bring law enforcement on board, and uh, to help engage community actors who otherwise may not be interested or not engaged. Point is now ready to share his blueprint to empower other communities. All of those cities feel the urgency of what's going on in our country right now, where we see this escalation uh, in youth uh, gun violence that is claiming the lives of, you know, a large percentage of our young people.